you guys. Okay, we're going to be talking about Foodie Beauty's Instagram. Now, I said I wasn't going to say her name anymore on the channel and um, wasn't going to be covering her directly for a very long time. If again, I wasn't sure, but um, this needs to be shared and anybody who watches this video needs to be aware. It's about the YouTuber Foodie Beauty. Her Instagram post, um, her Instagram is under Chantel al -Rafay. Um, which is her fake husband's last name. You know, my heart hurts for her roommate Pete's right now, and my heart hurts for all of the subscribers and viewers and her VIBs who felt seen by her and felt comfortable to be who they were. Because she came out as part of the LGBTQ plus community and said she was bisexual during Pride Month. During Pride Month. So my heart just breaks for everybody who felt that she was an ally, that she was on their side, that she was part of the community. It's just, it's sad. So she's showing some screenshots from a YouTube channel, Dr. Omar. Um, the LGBTQ question, what does Islam say? So I guess she was watching Omar's videos. Um, no, not, let's read what she has to say. This has six likes, by the way. Foodie Beauty, do you still support LGBT? It's complicated. The short answer is no, but I strongly disagree with hating people based on their orientation. I support individuals as people who are kind regardless of their sexual preference, but as a new Muslim, I cannot make something halal that is forbidden. There is nothing wrong with not believing in same-sex relationships. This coming from a Muslim convert, formerly agnostic and almost atheist. Therefore, I have done and still do my fair share of sinning, including having had same-sex relations out of curiosity in my past. So if it was curiosity, why did you come out as saying you were something instead of curious? That's my question. You literally came out during Pride Month. You couldn't let Pete's have their moment. I know, you know, they were talking about wanting to transition and start a new journey. Did you just come out to like one up your friend? What's going on? And it's hard for me to sit here and read this because I know you're going to go on to preach. Like, why is everything you do okay? So you call women out their names. You say horrible things. You dox people. You make fun of people's age, make fun of people's looks, make, make fun of their homes. You spew the most vile, hateful things I've heard come out of anybody's mouth, to be honest. You rage daily. You're a glutton. You have many addictions. But all that's okay, but same-sex relationships aren't? I'm not understanding that. Ooh, sorry, you guys. <clears throat> all right, I don't even know where we left off. Okay, there's nothing wrong with not believing in same-sex relationships. This coming from a Muslim convert. Are you even Muslim or are you just saying you are? What are you doing to change? What are you doing to change your life? I think you just believe who... You take on the beliefs of whatever person you're dating at the moment. That's what you do. Whatever religion, whatever beliefs, whatever they're doing. I've met some of the nicest people that are Muslim. And when I think of them and look at you, it's two different things. I don't know. Okay, uh, we already read that part. Therefore, I've done and still do my fair share of sinning, including having had same-sex relations out of curiosity in my past. Now, however, as I attempt to grow as a person and learn Islam further, I love the idea that we can disagree with others' beliefs and not condemn them for having them. Were you disagreeing with your roommate Pete's beliefs when you took them shopping for clothes? Like, this doesn't make sense. You... How hurtful for Pete to wonder if like you were actually being being supportive, trying to one up them, just going along with whatever so you can get views. Like, this is so hurtful. <sighs> okay, let's see. I love the idea that we can disagree with others' beliefs and not condemn them for having them. That is between them and their relationship with God. We live to serve him and not ourselves. We must obey as this is what is good for us. God made us who we are, and each one of us is special. 
Therefore, to alter our na natural state of being is haram, and I fully understand this. But as good Muslims, as good Muslims, we should also practice kindness to all, no matter their orientation. This concept of kindness is something I struggle with as I have anger issues, you think? But it is something I know I will get right someday. I will never give up, and the closer I allow myself, Allah, to enter my heart, the more I want to do right. I was lost for all of my life. I am still finding myself. It's a journey. It's a gift from God. I ha <sighs> Every time I don't think she can disgust me anymore, she just does. Like, this is a whole new level of just like, ugh. How could you? Your roommate, your family. How could you speak against what they believe in like this, Rudy? Like, who they are. You're condemning who they are. Like I said, I feel bad for all your subscribers who finally felt seen. Maybe for the first time in their life, who finally felt seen by somebody. And it was all an act. For views, subscribers. I hope, I hope, one day you apologize to everybody for this. This is awful, foodie. It's disgusting. It's sad. It's, how could you?